Hello everyone, welcome to Keredip Training Solutions. We are at session 2 of Clocks. In this session, we will be discussing hands coinciding concept as well as shortcuts in problem solving. If you haven't watched the previous videos of this playlist, I have included the link in description. Just have a look at it to understand the working principles of clock clearly. Let's enter into our session now. I would like to start this session using a simple question. Once in how many hours, needles of the clock coincide? Or we can say once in how many hours, both the needles of the clock intersect. So if we don't know the concept, probably the answer is one hour. If you say that, then the answer is wrong. Because we know at 12 o'clock, both the needles of the clock coincide, right? Both the minutes needle and hour needle coincide. Now, is it coinciding at one o'clock? It is not coinciding at one o'clock. So here we have to use a simple shortcut, which is relative speed. We know time is distance by speed. Now distance is 360 degrees and speed is 11 by 2 degrees per minute, right? So this is relative speed of both minute needle and hour needle. So while solving 360 by 11 by 2 degree per minute, we get 720 by 11. 6 times 66, again 60, 5 times 55 and remainder 5. So we can write this in mixed fraction format. So 65 5 by 11 minutes. It means for every 65 5 by 11 minutes, both the needles of the clock coincide. So we can write 65 5 by 11 minutes as 1 hour and 5 minutes because 1 hour is 60 minutes. 1 hour 5 minutes and you can write this 5 by 11 minutes as it is or you can write this in seconds. So if you want to convert this 5 by 11 to seconds, you have to multiply this by 60. Then only you will get the accurate value. But it will not create a big impact. So we can say for every 1 hour, 5 minutes and 5 by 11 seconds, both the needles will coincide. We know exactly at 12 o'clock, both the needles coincide. After 12 o'clock, it will coincide at 1 o'clock, 5 minutes and 5 by 11 seconds. So after 1 o'clock, 5 minutes and 5 by 11 seconds, it will coincide after an another 65, 5 by 11 minutes. So for this, again, you have to add in 1 hour, 5 minutes and 5 by 11 seconds. When you add it, you get 2 o'clock, 10 minutes and 10 by 11 seconds. So simply you can multiply this by 2, right? Now imagine you got a question like this. Between 3 to 4, between 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock, exactly at what time both the needles coincide. So for this, you have to multiply this by 3. When you multiply this by 3, you get 3 into 5, 15, 15 by 11. And again, 3 into 5, you get 15. And 3 into 1, you get 3. So in 5 by 15 by 11, we have a complete 1 minute, right? So 15 by 11, you have a complete 1 minute. So you have a remainder 4. So 3 o'clock. So you can carry this 1 minute to this 15 minutes. 3 o'clock, 16 minutes and 4 by 11 seconds. Both the needles of the co uh, clock will coincide between 3, 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Hope you understood the concept, right? Now, based on the concept discussed, we try to solve some problems. So we have our first question. At what time between 5 to 6 will hands of the clock be together? So between 5 o'clock to 6 o'clock, at what time both the needles will coincide? So what we have to do, we know. For every 1 hour, 5 minutes and 5 by 11 seconds, both the needles coincide. So you have to multiply this by 5. So 5 into 5, you get 25. So 25 by 11. So 5 into 5, 25. 5 into 1, 5. So you can write this 25 by 11 as 2 times 22, you have a remainder 3. So you have a complete 2 minutes in this 25 by 11 seconds. So you can carry this 2 to 25. So at 5 o'clock, 27 minutes and remainder you have 3. 3 by 11 seconds both the needles of the clock will coincide. So here you have to write answer like this. 27, 3 by 11 minutes after 5 o'clock, both the needles will coincide. So answer for this question is 27, 3 by 11. Hope you understood the problem. Moving to second question of the session. At what time between 10 and 11 o'clock will the hands of the clock coincide? So this question is similar to our previous model. So here you have to find between what time exactly at what time between 10 and 11 both the hands coincide. So you have to multiply this by 10, right? So when you multiply this by 10, you get 10 into 5, 50, 50 by 11, 5 into 10, 50, 1 into 10, you get 10. So in 50 by 11, we have a complete 4 minutes. So this 4 minutes will be carried to 50. So 10 o'clock, 54 minutes and you have a remainder 6, 6 by 11 seconds. So you can write 54, 6 by 11 minutes after 10 o'clock, both the needles will coincide between 10 to 11. So answer for this question is 54, 6 by 11 minutes. Hope you understood the structure, right? Now moving to second model of this session. 
how many times do the hands of the clock coincide in a day so in a day we have totally 24 hours so in 24 hours how many times both the needles of the clock coincide so clock coinciding in the sense both the needles have to make zero degree right we know exactly at 12 12 o'clock both the needles will make a zero degree coincide minute needle and hour needle both will make a zero degree now we know for every one hour both the needles will make a coincide both the needle will coincide once per every one hour but in 12 hours it will coincide only 11 times because between 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock it will coincide exactly at 12 o'clock so between 11 to 1 it will coincide only once so in 12 hour it will coincide 11 times see between 1 to 2 it will coincide one time between 2 to 3 it will coincide one time between 3 to 4 it will coincide one time but between 11 to 1 it will coincide only at 12 o'clock so it will coincide only once so in 12 hour it will coincide 11 times so in a day we totally have 24 hours so in 24 hours it will coincide 22 times so 22 times becomes our answer hope you understood the problem right so let's have an another question how many times do the hands of the clock coincide in 3 days take 10 seconds and try to solve it If the answer is 66 times, then obviously your answer is correct because we know in 12 hours it will coincide 11 times. So in 72 hours it will coincide how many times? Just cross multiply you will get 66 times. So 66 times is the answer for the question, right? So in 3 days, 66 times both the needles will coincide. But for this question, answer is 22 times. Hope you understood the problem. Moving to fourth question of this session. How many times do the hands of the clock are straight? So straight in the sense we have to consider both 180 degree. For example, here both the needles are making 180 degree. So you, you can consider this as straight or both the needles are making 0 degree so you can consider this also as straight right so you have to consider both clock uh, needles coinciding as well as needles making opposite direction we know in a single day both the needles will coincide for 22 times so we don't need to worry about coinciding so it will make it will meet 22 times so it will coincide 22 times so we have to find in a single day that is in 24 hours how many times both the needles will be in opposite direction Now we know in one hour both the needles will be in opposite direction that is it will make a one 180 degree one time in 12 hours it will make 180 degree that that is that means it will be in opposite direction for 11 times because exactly between 5 to 7 both the needles will be in straight line only at 6 o'clock right at 6 o'clock both the needles will be in straight line between 5 to 7 so it will make only 180 degree once between 5 to 7 in this 2 hour it will make 180 degree only once at 6 o'clock so in 12 hours it will uh, make an 180 degree for 11 times so in 24 hours it's 22 times now our question is how many times do the hands of the clock are straight so you have to consider this 22 times that is coinciding as well as opposite so 22 plus 22 we get 44 times so 44 times becomes the answer now let's have an another question so try to pass the video for 5 seconds and answer it how many times do the hands of the clock are straight in 144 hours so let me repeat the question one more time how many times do the hands of the clock are straight for 144 hours If the answer is 264 times, it's definitely correct because in 12 hours, it will be straight for 11 plus 11, 22 times. So in 144 hours, it will be straight for 264 times. So just cross multiply, you will get the answer. But answer for this question is, both the needles will be straight in a single day for 44 times so this becomes our answer hope you understood the problem right moving to last question of this session 
how many times do the hands of the clock at right angle in a day so in a day how many times both the needles will make a right angle this is our question so right angle in the sense both the needles have to make 90 degree right so we can say this one is a 90 degree we know in one hour both the needles will make 90 degree for two times but in 12 hours it will make only 22 times because exactly between 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock between 2 and 3 both the needles will make a 90 degree for only one time similarly from 8 to 9 both the needles will make a 90 degree for only one time so in one hour if it makes two times in 12 hours it will make only 22 times so in 24 hours both the needles both the needles will make 90 degree for only 44 times so 44 times becomes our answer so understanding these type of shortcuts is mandatory for solving bigger bigger problems so sometimes you will get a question like this so uh, how many times do the hands of the clock at right angle in 144 hours or 1728 hours so during that case we have to use the shortcut only so if you understood this type of shortcut problem uh, solving problems on clocks is really easy for us so in upcoming session i try to add some more difficult problem on clocks until that stay connected with career the training solutions if you have any doubt please don't hesitate to pass it on comment section below like and share the video to your friends thanks a lot for watching have a nice day